गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डाइसेक्शन इज एबडोमल कैविटी इन विच वी आर सींग द डाइसेक्शन ऑफ स्टमक सो द स्टमक इज द वाइडस्ट स्टमक इज द वाइडस्ट एंड मोस्ट डिस्टेंसीबल पार्ट ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनाल लोकेशन स्टमक इज सिचुएटेड इन द अपर लेफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एबडोमल अकोपाइंग द लेफ्ट हाइपोकॉन्ड्रियम अमलाइकल एंड द एपिगेस्ट्रियम रीजन shape now the shape is j shaped stomach is j shaped long axis passes downwards forwards to the right and finally backwards and slightly upwards both the shape and the position of the stomach greatly vary according to the individual's build now we are talking about size and capacity size approximately length is 10 in inch and the capacity is highly distensible uh, so at the birth it is approximately 30 ml at puberty 1000 ml and at adult it is about 1500 to 2000 ml now we are talking about external features it has two ends one end and the second end it has two curvatures one and the second one and it has two surfaces anterior surface and the posterior surface two ends are cardiac end this one is the cardiac end and this one is the pyloric end cardiac end joins the lower end of the esophagus joins the lower end of the esophagus present an orifice known as cardiac orifice now the pyloric end joins the proximal end of the duodenum and present an orifice is known as pyloric orifice stomach is relatively fixed in both the ends and flexible in between both of end laser curvatures curvatures there are two curvatures laser curvature and this one is the greater curvature laser curvature it is concave in shape forms the shorter right border of the stomach it has angular notch it has angular notch indicates the junction of the body and the pyloric part provides attachment to the laser omentum and this is the greater curvature it is convex in shape and the forms longer left border of the stomach upper end presents a cardiac notch which separates it from left aspect of the esophagus Card, uh, greater curvature provides attachment to the greater omentum greater omentum gastrosplenic and gastrophrenic ligament this is the gastrosplenic and this is the gastrophrenic ligament gastrophrenic ligament it has anterior superior and posterior inferior aspects anterior superior faces forwards and upwards and the posterior superior faces backwards and downwards it has four parts uh, the first one is cardiac part this one is the cardiac part the second one is the fundus and the third one is the body and the fourth one is the pyloric part cardiac part around the cardiac orifice this is the cardiac orifice the fundus this is the fundus fundus is upper dome shape part of the stomach situated above the horizontal plane drawn at the level of cardiac notch superiorly reaches up to the fifth intercostal space cardiac notch this is the cardiac notch lies between the fundus and the esophagus body this is the body major part of the stomach between the fundus and the pyloric antrum this one is the pyloric part funnel shaped outflow region of the stomach it has three parts the first one is the pyloric antrum the second one is the pyloric canal and the third one is the pylorus uh, pyloric antrum proximal wide part this one is the proximal wide part separated from the pyloric canal by an intercostal sulcus it is about 3 inches long and lead into the pyloric canal 
फाइलोरिक कैनाल डिस्टल नैरो ट्यूबुलर पार्ट मेजरिंग वन इंच लाइज इन हेड एंड नेक ऑफ द पेनक्रियाज लाइज इन नेक एंड हेड ऑफ द पेनक्रियाज एंड द पायलोरिस इज द मोस्ट डिस्टल एंड स्पिंटरिक रीजन ऑफ द पायलोरिक कैनाल सर्कुलर मसल फाइबर्स आर मार्केटली थिकन इन दिस रीजन विच कंट्रोल्स द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ स्टमक कंटेंट थ्रू द पायलोरिक ऑरिफाइज इन टू द ड्यूडिनम Now we come to the relations. There are two types of relation with the stomach. First one is the peritoneal relations, and the second one is visceral relations. As we already discussed about the peritoneal relations, these are the four relations: lesser omentum, greater omentum, gastrosplenic ligament, and the gastrophrenic ligament. This one is the lesser omentum. This one is the greater omentum, and this one is the gastrophrenic ligament area, and this one is the gastrosplenic ligament area. now come to the visceral relations visceral relations are basically two types of anterior surface and the posterior surface anterior surface has uh, left half of this surface is related to the diaphragm and rib cage and the posterior relations are this surface is the related to the number of structures uh, which is known as the stomach bed so let's start with the stomach bed first of all this is the diaphragm this one is the spleen this one is the left kidney and the left suprarenal gland this one is the left colic plexer this one is the splenic artery this one is the transverse colon and this one is the body of pancreas all these structures are formed as a stomach bed uh Uh, now we see the stomach bed in the cadaver so this is the stomach uh, basically uh, this one is the diaphragm the left kidney and the left suprarenal gland is not visible from the above it, it is already present in the posterior aspect and the pancreas is also there this one is the transverse meson colon this one is the left colic plexer this one is the left colic plexer uh, this one is the splenic artery and the last one is the spleen all these structures are made the stomach bed uh, 